Welcome once again to Hardly Tech. Just gonna have a quick intro today. This comparison will be between the 1080 Ti, 2080 Super, and 3060 Ti at 1440p. Here are the system specs once again, the same as last time. And here we have the usual game testing suite. Borderlands 3, F1 2019, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Far Cry 5, and Metro Exodus. Let's gear up for Borderlands 3. Here in Borderlands 3 at 1440p, the 1080 Ti and the 3060 Ti are very close. About half of the test, they're running basically the same frame rate. However, when there is a lead, the 1080 Ti actually seems to hold about a 1 to 2 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti. The 2080 Super, on the other hand, holds about a 2 to 4 frame per second lead over the 1080 Ti. Shift into overdrive for F1 2019. Here in F1 2019, the 1080 Ti and the 3060 Ti again are very close. Just like we saw in 1080p, the 1080 Ti holds a very slight lead at the beginning of the test, but that only lasts till the first corner. After that, the 1080 Ti and the 3060 Ti trade a 1 to 7 frame per second lead over each other back and forth. However, most of the time the 1080 Ti actually has the lead in this test. 
And once again, the 2080 Super maintains a lead over both, ranging from 6 to 12 frames per second for most of the test. slink into the darkness for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Here in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we finally see the 3060 Ti take a bit of a lead over the 1080 Ti. The 3060 Ti maintains about a 2 to 6 frame per second lead over the 1080 Ti for most of the test. The 2080 Super maintains about a 6 to 12 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti. Let's get locked and loaded for Far Cry 5!
Here in Far Cry 5, we once again see the 1080 Ti take a lead over the 3060 Ti. We're seeing about a 2 to 10 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti, usually in the range of about 3 to 6 frames per second. At one point, the 1080 Ti actually takes a lead over the 2080 Super, not by much, but it still happens. However, for the majority of the test, the 2080 Super holds about a 4 to 8 frame per second lead over the 1080 Ti. Wipe that visor clean, soldier. It's time for Metro Exodus. In Metro Exodus, we once again see the 3060 Ti maintain about a 1 to 2 frames per second lead over the 1080 Ti, but for the entire test, the cards are very close. The 2080 Super, as usual, maintains about a 3 to 6 frame per second lead over the 3060 Ti. So in today's testing at 1440p, it appears that the 1080 Ti actually maintains a performance lead over the 3060 Ti for most of the games tested here. The 2080 Super, of course, maintains a bit of a lead over both. One interesting thing I noticed during testing was that the 2080 Super and the 3060 Ti both seem to use more system RAM than the 1080 Ti, but the 1080 Ti utilizes more of its VRAM probably thanks to it having a whopping 11 gigabytes at its disposal, compared to 8 gigabytes on its younger siblings. All right, with 1440p testing out of the way, next we'll be moving on to the 4K testing, which leads me to an interesting observation. Apparently, in my 3060 Ti review video, I labeled the 4K results as 3840p results. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> For some reason, in my mind, when I think 4K, I think 3840 but the proper nomenclature should be 2160p, so I'll have to correct that in future videos. My bad. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, you know where those buttons are. I would really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.